Hey After Effects users, let's talk about the different options you have for adding text comments to your projects in After Effects. This is really important for anyone making After Effects templates or projects that are intended for someone else, like a client. So let's get started. The most obvious way perhaps is to add text layers in your comps. Uh, I usually have an instructions layer at the top that they see right away as soon as they open the comp. So they can read the most important stuff about the comp and then just hide the layer when they're done. I also usually have a separate instructions comp. I usually call it getting started and I just have the comp open when I save the project. So it's the first thing they see when they open up the project. It helps them get their bearings and tells them what to do first. So to make these text layers, you just grab your text tool and drag a box around your frame and then you can make changes in the character and paragraph panels. Next we have composition markers. Just make sure there are no layers selected and hit the asterisk button to add a marker. And then if you double click it, it opens up this panel that is way too small. But you can add whatever text comments you want in there and it will appear in the marker. And you can add multiple markers if you want, and these can mark specific times in your comp, or you can even make it span a period of time if you hold down the Option or Alt key, and then click and drag, and it stretches it out like this. Then if you want to delete it, you just Command or Control click it. Very similar to that are layer markers, same shortcut, the asterisk key. Just select the layer first, and it will add a marker to that layer. So those are helpful for adding notes or instructions that are specific to that layer. People can just double click it to read it, or if they just hover over it, they can see it that way too. The only problem I have with composition markers and layer markers is that they're exported with the clip. So if I rendered this out and then brought it back into After Effects, you get a big mess like this. Another option for instructions for specific layers are the layer comments. They may not be visible, so you have to right click somewhere at the top of a column and choose Columns, and then Comment. You don't have to worry about the client not seeing them as long as you save the project with the comments visible, then they'll see them too. I use these all the time, but they have their own disadvantages. Like if the layer requires a lot of instructions, they have to expand the column really wide, and then they have to keep expanding effects to add more space so that they can read it all. You can also put text on a layer with an effect. I've never used this, but I wanted to cover all the options I could think of. So if you just add an effect called basic text, and then you can change the font and color and position and make sure that composite on original is checked. If you wanted, you could connect this effect's opacity to a checkbox control named something like show instructions. So as a user is customizing with the controls, they could reveal your text if they want to. And while we're in the effect controls panel, if you have a lot of effects in here or a lot of customization controls, you can add short notes or labels here. Just add a slider control and then edit the name. So those are all the ways that I add notes and instructions inside my templates. Just because the project makes sense to you doesn't mean it's going to make sense to someone seeing it for the first time. So it's good to add plenty of clear instructions and it may actually reduce the amount of customer support you have to do later on. If you want to check out some of those effects that I snuck into the video, uh, just go to the link in the description. There's a 3D storybook template for creating your own custom book animations in After Effects. There's Micro for making custom microscopic animations and Landscaper, which lets you make custom 3D landscapes. Those creative effects and a lot more at creationeffects.com.